you're all still here. Amazing. Um, <coughs> Stella, I was actually going to come out to that song, so thanks. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just want to say quickly about community. Um, I'm actually part of a project called Balkan Young Poets, and I started that when I was 17, and that was my first introduction to poetry, and that completely guided me so much. From then, I started performing, I ran my own poetry night, I get to perform here, I performed at the Queen's Gallery. So it was all from that one project, so thank you. Yeah, I've been sitting here all day, taking all of this in, which is lovely. Um, and I've been writing a poem. Um, I'm actually really excited about this award. I'm from Tower Hamlets, but I'm not biased at all. Uh, and I just, yeah, I think what I took a lot from today is that communities, uh, each borough has its in, like, individual um, things that need to tackle and like bring their community in. But as a whole of London as well, it is very like a very beautiful city, so um, I've even titled it, that's amazing. Okay, it's called Let's Take a Walk Around London. Tonight I want to applaud my city. There is nowhere like London, nowhere at all. It is the heart of the country, more culture than the perimeter of our shores. Head down Whitechapel to experience South Asian cuisine. Take a trip to the West End for some of the longest running musicals. Experience experimental exhibitions at the Saatchi Gallery. Visit festivals like the Walthamstow Garden Party. Jump out of your comfort zone into Kenyan Aduma dance. Pose in front of street art in Shoreditch. Head underground to get to the center of it all. Meeting and guiding tourists along the way until you realize you can't even decipher the tube map yourself. As Londoners, we were all Kelly Holmes' reaction when we won the 2012 Olympic host bid. Just pick up an oyster and experience it all. In London, you get, to use, you get used to queues and rush hours and sweat and backpacks and walking faster than you can breathe. Stand at the South Bank where it feels like the whole world is right there, walking towards Westminster. Learn any of the 300 languages in use. You can find poetry and music nights every night of the week. Just open your eyes, head to my street, and find the birthplace of grime. In London, in London, there is 24-hour drive-through happiness and revolving doors and panic. In the midst of it all, you can find harmonious pockets, get lost in back streets, and find butterfly tents in Greenwich. There are tributes and memorials and mosques, churches, and temples opening their doors. Last year, we welcomed over half a million babies. With only a third of that figure qualified midwives, in London, housing is still an issue. Lack of free school meals is still an issue. Lack of free education is an issue. Youth centers, work experience, funding. We cannot ignore the politics. We do not lack in culture, diversity, and camaraderie, though. We stand together with our neighboring cities. We want to open our doors and not turn, away, and not turn people away. As a city, London has come so far, and we still have some way to go. Thank you. <laughs>